Hello everyone, this is Britt Simon. Um, so I'm just bringing some news here, which I published on my uh, blog, um, but the uh, DV 2024 entry dates have been leaked or announced um, by the uh, the embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Um, so I'll show you uh, I'll show you what uh, what they said just briefly, and we'll we'll talk about that. Share share screen that one. Okay. Um, so this is the announcement. This was published on their Facebook page, <coughs> and they um, and they say that the dates are going to be open from October fifth uh, to November eighth, twenty twenty two. So you know, basically, that is going to be the entry period um, that that we'll be looking at. Um, the uh, you can go and look at this on on the U.S. Embassy website uh, or their their Facebook site, and they actually they say they're going to have. Um, a Facebook Live event uh, with consular team to answer questions. Now, they've announced this a little bit earlier than they should have done. Um, the Department of State each year publishes this, uh, these dates, um, and, and, they're, and they're supposed to sort of be the official source, right? But what they do is they send a cable or an email to the embassies uh, ahead of time, and I'm sure on the cable it says something like, don't publish this information until this date, you know, some date. And, um, and sometimes, quite often, the embassies jump the gun, as has happened this year, and publish that information early. I think it is, um, I think it's trustworthy. It's definitely from the, an official source. Um, and the dates make sense. And I'll show you why I'm saying that, uh, that they make sense. Um, hang on one second. Sorry, I'll just bring up this uh, this this one here. Right. So this is the uh, this is the website where you'll enter, and I'll come to that in a minute. Um, but you can see that the previous years, the DV twenty twenty three registration um, uh, went on from October sixth to November 9th. and so that's about the same time. It's um, uh, the same time, but one day later, it started and finished one day later. And then DB 2022 started October 7th and went on till November 10th. So again, same sort of timeline that it's open, um, same time period that it's open, which is um, uh, which is defined by law. Um, and so this this set of dates looks reasonable. Okay, looks accurate. So I think we can trust it. Uh, in there, and let's take this out. Okay. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Now, a um, couple of points I'd like to make. Um, anybody can enter, even if you're a previous DV winner. So uh, if you're a DV 2023 winner or 2022 or 2021, 2020, you've been involved in one of those years, doesn't matter. You can still enter DV 2024. It doesn't affect your process here to enter a lottery. It's just entering a lottery, okay? Um, you can even, if you were selected in two subsequent years, you can even fill in your DS-260 from both those years and have both of those running at the same time. That's possible too, um, and does happen each year. Um, but there's absolutely no harm in, in entering again. So um, please do go ahead. It's free. Um, uh, it's a free entry. You shouldn't be paying anybody. You, you know, it's absolutely fine. Um, only enter on this site, the dvprogram.state.gov website, right? Don't go to any other place to enter. If you enter at some other website, you're giving your information to scammers, basically. You're probably going to pay them money. And then if you win, they're going to blackmail you, right? That's highly likely. Um, so don't use any other website to enter. Um, you want to be in control of your entry. It's a very simple, very easy process to enter, no problem at all. Um, so it just wait for the, uh, for the entry period to open uh, at that particular website, okay? Um, you won't need a passport this year um, in order to enter the DV lottery. Now in DV 2022 and 23, there was a requirement that you had a passport, a valid passport, uh, to even enter the lottery, right? That requirement was then blocked by a judge because um, the government had not gone through the correct process in changing the rules in, in, and what they should have done 
was they should have announced this proposed rule change with some period of time. Uh, they should have collected uh, public comment on that proposed rule change, and they should have, you know, then gone ahead with the um, uh, with the passport rule. They didn't. It fundamentally changed the entry process, and therefore a, a judge said, "No, sorry, you you haven't followed the correct process. I'm blocking that." And so, for people that entered in DB 2022 and 2023, at some point. The fact that they didn't use the correct um, passport no longer was relevant. They couldn't be refused for that. Now, DV 2024 won't have the passport rule because the government have not gone through that public publication process. Again, they haven't done it, right? And so um, unless they had done that some months ago, they couldn't use uh, that, new, that rule in DV 2024. So by logic... I'm I'm deducing that they cannot possibly reintroduce the uh, the passport rule as was. Okay, um, so you won't need a passport. Um, talked about anyone can enter. Previous current winners, absolutely. Um, passport's not going to be required. That's that's it. That's good. Um, okay, so that's basically it. That's all I wanted to let people know. Now, entry is a free process. It's a it's a free, very simple process. Um, anybody can enter, regardless of your current education or, or status in terms of professional work or whatever else, even regardless of age, actually, um, you can enter the lottery. If you're selected, then you have to meet certain requirements in order to, to, be, um, to be awarded your visa later, okay? But anybody can enter. So I would say no need to ask me a bunch of questions like, I, my education is this or it's that or whatever else, can I enter the lottery? The answer will be, yes, you can enter the lottery. If you're selected, then we can talk about whether you can pass the interview, whether you can be awarded the uh, the um, the visa or not, okay? Um, okay, good luck, everybody. Get ready for that. October, what is it? October the 5th um, is going to be the beginning of the entry date. Oh, and by the way, it makes no difference whether you enter on the first day or the last day or, or, or the third Tuesday or whatever other nonsense people like to come out with. Um, the, uh, the selection is totally random. It's not dependent on the day you enter. It's not dependent on your marital status. It's not dependent on, your, on the level of education you, uh, you pick when you, um, uh, when you enter the lottery. You pick a, an education level. None of that makes any difference. It's entirely random. Okay. The only requirements is that you're honest when you enter the, the process, that you include all of the correct um, uh, derivatives to your case with photos. You need to have photos for the derivatives that you want to add, uh, like your spouse or your children. You must enter all of your eligible de derivatives as you enter um, and, um, uh, and just follow all the rules and then give the correct place of birth. Use the place of birth as your country of chargeability unless you have a specific reason not to do so. It is not based on where you live now. It's based on where you were born, right? Please understand that. Uh, don't lie in the process, as I mentioned. Um, if you follow these simple instructions, it really is a simple process. And you'll end up being in a, a position where you could, could be picked. Um, <coughs> not everyone will be picked. It's a lottery. Um, your chance of selection uh, is pretty low, frankly, um, but it's a free lottery. Why not enter and see if you could uh, um, uh, be one of the selected winners? Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening in. Uh, good luck with that. And I'll have more information closer to the, to the entry period on exactly how you fill in the form. Um, I have got a video, but I'll refresh that video. I'll, ha I'll, I'll show you how to fill in the form and go through the whole process. So... Really, there's no need to worry about anything. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, if you don't know me, by the way, um, I've been helping people through the DV lottery process for about 10 years. Um, if you do become a winner, winner you'll definitely hear my name. Uh, I'm pretty famous amongst um, DV winners. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I do all of this for free. I don't charge anybody anything uh, for any of the advice I give. Um, so, you know. Uh, hopefully that can help you. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.